Uh, welcome to the crimes of the century. This is something a little different. Now, um, from a country I've not reacted to before. Isa Pesadio. But this is so cool. Especial Makella Falca. How does that sound? I believe they are Spanish. Could be wrong, might be Portuguese, might be Russian, might be Egyptian. Correct me if I'm right and mistake me if I'm further than you could ever imagine. So, I'm excited for this and it's good to try different varieties in your life. So if they're not usually your type of thing, do stick around. You might enjoy it, as might I. So, <sighs> let's go. I've done a lot of Japanese on my channel, a lot of Korean. Let's try some Spanang. Three, two, one, go. Pesado. She is a laddie. Oh, this is brighter all of a sudden. Uh, there's no subtitles on on here. to me Extraordinary behavior to me. <laughs> Extraordinary sensations to you. <laughs> wow. Was that the party of the century? Or was that the crime? You tell me to you. I might need saving from that one. I might need a ventilator. There was a lot of shaking in there. 
<laughs> lot of swagger, lot of confidence, a lot of attitude. This guy with the dreadlocks, he was cool. As you would expect a guy with dreadlocks to be very, very um, charming to you. Is he a reggae, reggae style singer? Like Bob, the late iconic Bob. It was, I, lo I liked the, the aesthetic. And I liked this song, even though I don't know what it's about. But you know, this was not what I expected. I thought it would sound stereotypically South American. And it didn't really. Uh, I'm sure there were infusions in there, but it seemed quite modern at the same time. Um, my first thought was that I was not expe expecting a uh, black woman. I was expecting someone who was lighter. Not white, but in between, I suppose. So that was surprising. I suppose I suspected a Latino woman instead. And I didn't expect a guy with dreadlocks either. But this looked like... It looked like um, a lot of villainy and a lot of fun. All woven into one. It was uh, really a, a tune that makes you want to to move and watching the video um, amplifies that um, expression although it did make me want to hide and scream and weep in uh, great terror and uh, embarrassment at moments but however that really did exceed my expectations it was colorful i think i expected an old song an old old video but like I said this is quite new um, I think I suspected traditional South American music and this wasn't that at all um, I'm guessing she's a popular artist over over there again tell them do tell me some uh, background where this is exactly uh, again I'm guessing it's Spanish and Spanish isn't even South American so I don't know why I am um, mentioning that, <laughs> but for some reason that's what I expect. Maybe it's because uh, I have no clue. I don't know. Maybe my mind is very dazzling to you. Who can say? Maybe it's the name. I just uh, got muddled possibly. Do, do um, help clarify for me what is happening here. I probably sound very, very insane to the living. But I am from the land of the dying, so do be understanding to you. A lot of shaking, a lot of... Um... I'm surprised this hasn't gained more traction worldwide, honestly. Unless I've been out of the loop, which is very likely. But um, it was exciting. There wasn't loads of electronic kind of fake sound, even though probably was, it didn't sound in your face, the music, as, um, as quite often modern music does. So I liked that. It was really her voice which was, um, which was really the star, and the visuals here. Um, it was quite, um, not in your face, as I said, the music, it was, it complemented the voice well and it com and made you, it, it was somehow not overblown, but made you want to get up and move all the same. So congratulations to me. Tell me your thoughts. This was a great introduction to music from this part of the world. And um, I'm sure there was a lot I missed, but uh, it, it was only three minutes and they packed a big punch for sure. Tell me your thoughts. Show me your crimes and remember, remember the nudity to me!
Thank you.